All right, so I'm going to be honest. I was going to start off with the normal way that I've done this, like, fucking four fucking times already. Correction, five. Um, but fuck it. I'm just going to jump in it. Apparently, Trump supporters are fucking attacking fucking Capitol Hill right now. Fucking the U.S. Capitol. And all that shit because they fucking sore-ass loser president can't take a fucking loss. And the only reason they're attacking is because the electoral votes were going to get, um voted to be overturned or not. I don't think they got overturned, so then Trump supporters just got... <laughs> so, now, I, I mean, originally I was just going to compare it to the KSI Logan Paul because literally it matches perfectly. But then I'm over here seeing this shit to where it's like Biden's telling Donald Trump to step up and end the siege. Fucking Wallace, or former national security officer officials call on Trump to make it stop. Like, the man doesn't understand how much power he has. But the nonsense is that... A guy got shot. Dude, what the fuck? Okay, so let me compare it to Logan Paul versus KSI real quick. How dumb this whole situation is. The way the fucking thing with KSI and Logan Paul started was it was a childish fight. Same thing with Biden and him. Childish fight. Next thing you know, it was the actual boxing match. This is where Trump fucked up that got him deducted two points. He didn't support us during the fucking COVID-19. He didn't do a lot. He gave us a thousand twelve... Uh, a $1,200 fucking stimulus check. Let me tell you something right now. That did nothing for me. Nothing. If I say it, you're going to be like, oh, that did nothing for you. My rent is literally fucking 1400 a month. It's like, that did nothing. That covered me for a month. Fuck, I heard Canada did like fucking 2000 every month. I don't know if that's true, but shit, it is. Fuck you, Trump. Okay, so let's continue on with this bullshit. So... After that, that's where got him deducted two points. Then what happened? He thought he won. Just like Logan Paul did. But next thing you know, boom, KSI, J, uh, KSI, Joe Biden. Boom, winner. Fucking goes on. What does KSI... Here's the difference between KSI and... I keep on saying KSI. God damn it. Here's the difference between Logan Paul and Trump. And Logan Paul, he didn't believe it. He tried to overturn it. He lost once. He gave in. Our president, he didn't believe it. He tried to overturn it through going to court and shit. He lost. 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 The man lost 50 fucking cases on this shit. He lost 50. And now, he's over here encouraging this stupid shit by saying there's more lies and all that crap. You want to help me? Okay, in all seriousness, uh, I'm going to be honest, the beginning was a bit joking because it's just stupid. It's super stupid to see this shit. The, I can't believe this shit. This shit feels like it's back in like the 1950s and crap when shit like this was normal. This shit isn't normal. And this shit is fueled by lies that our president is throwing out. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not going to believe CNN with everything because honestly, I do feel like they're lying because... Believe it or not, I was going to make a video fucking pointing out everything Trump did good for this fucking nation. And when I was doing the research on it, the man did some good for this fucking country. He did good for our uh, economy. He did good for our fucking, um, I'm going to just call it Jewish community because I don't know what else to call it. But he did good by them. He did a lot of good. He did got good for the fucking court system as well. This man made some progress that was not fucking acknowledged by CNN or any other news. So in other words, he was right. There is fake news. He brought that in the light. But you are not helping your situation right now by having one, a man get shot. Two, keep on spreading fucking lies to where there's going to be a lot of hate to where the man's probably going to get shot now. And three, if he gets shot, bitch, you're going to get shot too. And technically, you're making it worse because we're going to have a goddamn female fucking president, which is something I'm pretty sure you don't want. Now, I'm not saying Biden's a bad choice. Okay, no, I, honestly, neither of them are great choices. Trump, I was never going to vote for him because honestly, this whole fucking Corbett thing just made me say no. And I'm pretty sure that's what everybody else did in America said too. Biden, uh, we don't know what he can do. So we're voting... Hoping it's better than nothing. Like what Trump gave us. Nothing. So that's the only reason why he lost. But he doesn't see that. And he sees himself being a fucking monarch. Because people are protesting for him right now. And it caused one guy getting shot. You're going to risk a man getting shot right now. For your stupid fucking election? 
My guy, it is not worth dying for Donald J. Trump. The man's a saggity fucking oompa loompa. Oh my god. This, I'm being serious with y'all. This is very stupid to see. It's very idiotic to see. I cannot believe Trump is encouraging this shit. And I'm going to be honest with you. I made an eight minute video doing the same rant. Comparing this shit. And... I was about to end it. The next thing you know, I back out from the video and I'm seeing a uh, fucker get shot. And I'm like, are you fucking serious? Kellyanne Conway responds to the fucking Trump video. Everybody is just not on this man's side. He's ruining his fucking legacy as a president. And I mean, I hate to see it because honestly, he did have a good fucking run. He really did. And he's fucking up now. Ugh, it's just so bad. And, well, now look at this. Pence is over here saying, attack on our capital will not be tolerated. Finally, fucking someone got his head fucking clear after what's his name decided to say, fuck you. Oh, God, this whole thing's so stupid, man. I cannot believe that this shit is going on. This is, this is idiotic. I cannot believe our president is encouraging this shit because now I'm over here going to see a possible shooting in my life. And it's going to be a president getting shot. And I'm not talking, I'm not saying this as a threat. I'm saying this as a fucking sorry thing to see because it's either going to be him, Donald J. Trump, or it's going to be Biden. Because these feuds are just too fucking heated right now. Y'all need to calm this shit down. I really hate saying this, man. I really hate saying this shit. But God, I am never going to vote in my life if this shit fucking continues. If both fucking candidates on every fucking party in every fucking four years are going to be children to where next year this guy gets shot. Hey, look, this guy gets shot. Yay! It's stupid. It's fucking idiotic and it's stupid. Just quit your shit. Let's move on. Accept the defeat. Move on. It's not that hard. We've done it for over centuries. Just end it. Please. It's not worth a man's life. Oh my god. I'm, I'm done with this. Um, I, I was going to say that I, I started this off this morning good. And I did. And then I had to see this shit. This ruined my whole fucking day. Oh my god. Thank you guys for letting me rant. Again, if y'all guys are supporters of him, I don't care. I'm not saying y'all are stupid. I'm not saying anything like that. I'm just saying... Think smart, guys. Don't let don't put your lives on the line for this idiot. Please, God. If you're fucking hating on the man, stop. You're adding feel to it too. Every fucking person that kept on saying, "Oh, you lost. He's stupid." You added this. You caused this too. Why can't we just be civil anymore? Why? It's so idiotic. I don't know. I don't know what to say about this country no more. But God, it's just so bad. Whatever. Alright. Again, thank you for letting me rant. Um, I don't care if you're a supporter of Trump or not a supporter of Trump. Everybody's a human being. I don't want to see nobody die. I don't want to see somebody die for a stupid election. That is fucking stupid. Peace, people.